Hi, I'm Cheryl, and I've got a really gorgeous birthday card. At least I think it is. I just got some gilding flakes. I've been playing with them, and um, so I made I made this card today, and I'm going to share it with you. So what you need for this is a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Eight, five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded it four and a quarter. That's our base. And a strip of Whisper White cardstock that's uh, an inch and a half by five and a half. And that's our little band here. I use the background bits stamp set. I'm using this little flower right here. And that's it from this one from birthday banners I'm using the happy birthday stamp you could use any happy birthday you want I decide just decided I would use this one and then for the inside stamp from big on birthdays I use this big big wishing you a happy birthday or a very happy birthday stamp for the inside okay we don't need those anymore I've got my stamps all out on blocks already um, we'll need some Tombow glue we need some quarter inch wide um, double stick tape and I use the Darius brand but there's a lot of brands out there um, score tape um, I don't know lots of them we're going to use a marina mist ink island indigo ink and i have my island indigo marker i'm using the nouveau crystal drops that i only recently discovered and i'm loving them and this one is um white blizzard and then i have my my nouveau gilding flakes and i'm i'm haven't said anything about adhesives for these yet because i have a whole little thing and then i have a little bit of sponge here that i cut from my um oh what is it a dye brush mat and they they show you all these things that you're supposed to get special sponges and special glues and um I'm, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've found out playing with my gilding flakes. So, let's get started on our card. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our, our strip of Whisper White. It's the one and a half by five and a half inches. And we'll use our little our flower stamp here and we're going to stamp that with a sticky glue now, I think all the people that make the gilding flakes not, I'm using the Nouveau brand but they have there's a bunch of different people that make these too and they all have their own glues I got the Nouveau glue pens to try them and um, and I, I'll say they work great but I've also, I also tried my Tombow, and if you watch my videos, you know that one of the things I love about Tombow is when it dries, it stays sticky. And then I also had some Eileen's Tacket over and over, and I this this is another adhesive that stays sticky um, when it dries. So I made some little test strips here. And I'll start with this one. This one I use the um, the Eileen's Tacket, and let me get this up here. And, and and that's a very thick product, and you see it's actually got some dimension to it, which um, if if you want that, that's great. But I want it to duplicate um, the Nouveau. Um, glue pen glues so I diluted the Eileen's and used that instead and said 
and so now it's it's nice and flat and I used the Tombow glue I used my Tombow glue and just dabbed it on the sponge or dabbed it on the um, stamp with a, a damp sponge and that's the results I got from that and then last here is um, with the Nuvo glue pens and you can see that the Tombow with the damp sponge and then I diluted the um, thinned out the um, Eileen's tack it and they look these look very similar they got very similar results so you know maybe the glue pens a handy thing to have and I'm sure I'll use them uh, in other applications but you do not need to get the glue pens okay if you've got Tombow glue or you have the Eileen's tacket glue you don't need them okay so I'm gonna I've already got a strip done and dry sitting off to the side here but I'm gonna show you um, on the stamp here how you want to do this alright I'll show you with the the pen and the idea here is you want to get glue on your stamp you put the glue on your stamp and you want to work fairly fast because you don't want it to dry on your stamp and you don't want it to stick to your paper you don't want to glue it to your paper so you just want a light coat of the glue on there trying not to get down into the little crevices okay so that's with the glue pen and then um, well, my sponge isn't damp anymore it dried out on me there we go okay now with the Tombow I just have a little piece of scrap plastic here and I'm going to put a little of the Tombow out and pick that up with my sponge and you'll do the Eileen's the same way except you'll add just a few drops you know a drop or two of water to it and you just dab then you dab the Tombow glue on okay so again a very light coat because you don't want it to get down into the crevices same as with the inks you don't want your ink to get down in the crevices okay and then you just stamp it on your paper just the same as if you were stamping with ink now I don't think you'll be able to see this on here no, I can't. I can't catch it so you can catch the light right so you can see it. But it's stamped on here. Okay. And the next thing you want to know about this is you want this to be cleaned immediately after using it. You don't want to, you don't want to leave your stamp. Um, you don't want that glue to dry on your stamp or on your on your sponge either. So what you don't see out off to the side here, I have a little jar of water, and I just pop them in the water. Okay, now we can get onto the flakes. This is cool. I'm I'm liking these flakes. Let me dry my hand off real well here, because these flakes can make a terrible mess when you use them. Turn your fans off, turn your air conditioner off if you're sitting in where it's going to blow on your, on your table where you're working. Because these, these things are, watch this, watch this. These things are just lighter than air and they stick to anything staticky. Okay, so what, just, you see, see them moving? just from me doing this so you don't even really you don't want to move real fast either when you're doing these because just the the breeze from you um, you moving will get them flying about okay so like I said I restamped my flowers on here I'm just gonna sprinkle some of these these flakes on here 
and you know the when you get a tub of these things they they weigh like nothing but there's there's just gobs of them in here now I've been playing and experimenting in it and they're still popping out of the the container and a lot of people say to just dump them right off into another um, tub which I did not do because I don't need big old tubs sitting around here if I can help it okay so I'm just now I'm just rubbing them rubbing it with my finger to get all my flowers covered and I'm gonna ooh, some of them got away I'm going to gather up these big flakes and put them back in here. And then I do have a tub. Off to the side here. And I'll show you that in just a second. Once I get some of these gathered up here, I want to get the lid on this pretty quickly. Uh, just in case... I should have to sneeze or something. There's definitely something you don't want to do. You do not sneeze on your on your gilding flakes because they will go everywhere. Okay, so I have a tub here. I got the gold, I got the silver, and I got the copper. So what I've been doing is my flakes, my little bits of flakes, I've been just dumping them into my container. Okay. And then depending on what kind of a work surface you're using, you use a Swiffer um, cleaner. You know, the Swiffer towelette things. Or um, I find that even with that, they stick to my silicone mat. They really like to hang on my mat. So I also will use um, just a baby wipe. And that wipes them up. And I'm going to take my sponge. I've got them all covered. I'm going to take my sponge. And I'm just going to lightly go over them. And that kind of polishes them. And gets all the excess. excess flakes off and I got one right there wonder if I got glue there yeah looks like I got some excess glue there maybe because it's not wanting to come off so I just polish it with the with the sponge and then we have our our beautiful gilded flowers. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm going to just put this aside because we're not done gilding yet. Okay, so I'll bring that back in. Oh, you know what else we need? We need a, a sponge for blending. So I need that. I'll put that in the list down below too. So we'll get our let's get our marina mist down here first. Just get some some of that on on this strip here, and the um, the gilding acts as kind of a resist. It um, you get a little bit of the color on it, but you can wipe that off real easily with um, with just with a with a paper towel. Okay, so there's the. Marina Mist. And we're done with Marina Mist. Let's get our Island Indigo out here. It's a little bit brighter blue color. And I'm just going to, I'm not going to clean my sponge down. I'm just going to pick some of that up because it's a darker color. And we'll get some of that in there. And I'm just going kind of random. I'm not getting real real crazy about where I'm putting it. I just want kind of a 
don't know, it's like a floaty kind of blue background. I don't know how to describe that. Okay, so that's good. So, I'm going to close this up for now. We're going to be using that in just a bit. But let me get, get this extra ink here cleaned up. So we don't want that going places. That we don't want that ink. Okay, so now I can get my card base. Oh, another thing I should say, when you use these glues, you want to make sure they are absolutely dry. Perfectly dry before you put your gilding flakes on. Okay? So, if you're going to use a stamp or you can use a stencil or you can just add with a paintbrush or your pen, glue pens, whatever, a design, just freehand it. Um, but make sure that they're perfectly dry. That's a good time to stamp it or whatever and go and clean your stamp and your sponge out. Maybe make yourself a cup of coffee or tea, whatever it is you like to drink while you're crafting. Or have a little snack, whatever. So, but you want it perfectly dry. Okay, so I'm going to use a little Tombow glue on the back here. And we're going to position that across. This is going to be the bottom of the card. Let me make sure it's opening right. We're going to have it across the bottom of the card, but we're going to have it about, oh, about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom. You could even go as much as a, an inch. Let me just measure that. Actually, I'm closer to an inch. Okay, so give yourself about an inch from the bottom of the card because we still have to have our beautiful gilded border here and then we'll stamp our happy birthday below that. Okay, so that's down. Now I'll get my double-sided tape out. Cut myself a couple pieces of this. And I'm making it just a little bit wider than the than the card front. There's another flake thing that escaped. I don't know where he was hiding. They do go everywhere. Okay, so let's see blue side peels off the easiest on this one. I'll peel that off and I'm going to very carefully start on the I'll start on the edge here because I want to line that exactly with the edge of this paper and I find that if I tilt it up with the side of the sticky tape closest to the um, paper downward and that's the easiest way to do this, to get it closest, the closest you can. Okay, so that's one. And now we need to do the other one. And the same thing on this one. Let's start off the edge here just a little bit. Get that first little bit lined up perfectly. And then I'll tilt it up and get that get that edge right along here. That's the edge. Oh, get back down there. I have to start over. Uh, lined up there in the corner. Just perfect. Now I'll tilt it up and snug that right up against my my paper strip here. And all the way over to the side. There we go. We'll trim that off. I find that easiest to do from the back of the card. 
I can see my little things sticking out then. Alright, and get rid of those little bits. Okay, and we're going to smooth that down really well. Put that nice and smooth and down. And we're going to peel that off. Peel the other backing off because it's got a little bit of backing on both sides on this tape. If you're wondering if you could use a glue runner and do this, well, I don't think it would work for uh, something like this, but if you just wanted some kind of random um, stripes or something, then I don't see why it wouldn't work. There we go. That was being a little difficult. That little bit didn't want to come up. Okay, so now I'll bring my... I'm going to bring my scrap paper back in here. And... Let's see, we can just pick up some of these little bits here. Get our gilding going. Bring my gilding flakes back in. And we're going to do the same as we did for the flowers. I'm just going to take a bit of them and we're just going to rub them down all over that, that tape. I want that all covered really well with these flakes. Yeah, I haven't tried any new products for a while lately. So, I've been going a little crazy trying these gilding flakes. And those, um, the Nouveau drops. Man, I'm really liking them. Tonic Studios that makes them, they ought to, they ought to be paying me. I'm going to be using them on this card, too. I'm going to show you a cool little trick I figured out. Oh, I also found out... You know what you can do with those, those drops? This is cool. Cool as all get out. You can put them on a brad. Hold on a minute. Let me finish doing this and close up my my um, little jar of these flakes. I don't want to leave that open any longer than I have to. Okay, there we go. Look what I made. Look. What I did with those drops, oh, this is another little thing I was doing with them. Um, but look, I made myself little, little, um, brads with, this one has the pearl, the pearl, um, thing on it. I just stuck my brads in this card, made little holes in this cardboard box here and stuck them in there. And then I put the, look, and there's one with just the glossy one. And then... I made the the glitter this glittery one too and and I was a little I was wondering if they would like just peel off because it's putting it on I'm putting it on metal and not paper. But you know that they stick on there pretty good. Okay. So let's get this. And polish that up with the sponge. Get the excess off. And I'll get my little container of my multicolor flakes in here. And dump that. 
And once again, I got all chatty on you. So, my video is running a little long again. Alright, so now we can, we've got all this done. We're going to stamp with the Island Indigo. And where did my stamp get to? There it is. We'll stamp Happy Birthday on the front. I'm going to have that off a little bit to the left hand side here. And just line that up. One, two, three. And lift up. Why do I count one, two, three? Because that's all the time it takes for it to transfer to the to the paper. If you leave it on longer than that, it might start to lift up again. Maybe you won't get as nice of a stamped impression as you would have liked to have had. Okay, and now I'll do the inside part. And then I just have my little, my little dots to do on the front. And it's wishing you a very happy birthday. Beautiful impression because I left it for three. That's something I learned not too long ago. I'm always learning things. I watch, I watch YouTube videos too. And sometimes I get some really good tips from them. Okay, so we're on the back on the back on the front of the card. And um like I said I'm gonna use the um, white blizzard glitter drops but I want them to match the colors of my card. So I took my stamp and write marker in Island Indigo and to the side here I'm going to make one two, three dots with my Island Indigo. And over that, I'll use my drops. So remember, you want to, you want to get a little bit of the, the um, product coming out. So it's best to look, watch this from the side. You want your dropper, your bottle, pretty much straight up and down, and you want to drop. You want to touch the drop to the paper. Touch the drop to the paper, and touch the drop to the paper. And let's see, that last one is a little bit light. I think I need that a little, just a little bigger. So I'll just add just a little more to it. And you can do that. You can go back and, when it's still wet anyway, you can add a little bit more to it. Okay. Now they starts out, it will look kind of cloudy. Let me just get my thing down. There. Now I have all my, I cleared the nozzle here, so this is good to do when you use glues, anything that has a little skinny nozzle, bang it on your table and get the glue or um, whatever product is in the bottle down. Okay, so they start out a little bit cloudy, but then they dry clear with the glitter in it, and then I've got my my Island Indigo color in in or under my drops. I'm not sure. Um, if you look from the side, they look. It looks like it wicked up some of the color actually into the drops. But you see the dimension on those. Yeah, yeah. I'm really loving these. So, anyway, that's our card for the day, and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked my video, then be sure to hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my videos, um, be sure to hit subscribe. And if there are any Stampin' Up! products, <laughs> not too many on these cards, but the inks are...
Their inks are dynamite. They have really nice cardstock, too. Um, if you want to buy any of the Stamping Up products that I've used today, you can do that through me as your demonstrator, either through my Facebook page or my website. And as always, I'll have all the materials I use listed down below. So, y'all take care, stay safe, and happy stamping.